Joe, who is going to log in from his Windows 7 machine here, uh, he advertises himself in LinkedIn as a database administrator of a company that hackers are interested in getting a hold of. So he's going to be lured into clicking where he's not supposed to on a very cleverly and tuned target of choice message and he's going to be his machine is going to be a uh, compromise then the attackers are going to be install a keylogger it could have been a mimicat attack and multiple ways of getting the credentials once you get the session going and he's going to be um, getting the the attacker is going to be getting his uh, credential when he logs in into the corporate database server let's actually see that in action and analyze it later uh, all the traffic coming from of course from the outside in has to pass through the xgs uh, ips here on the dmc so as we can see the attacker has uh, his uh, trap set so anyone going into uh, his address which uh, as we saw in the graphic before is uh, the one ending on 123 on port 80 and is if he's vulnerable his machine is actually going to be compromised so the minute that uh, Joe clicks on a link here uh, that he's not supposed to notice how the in Kali I get my uh, session with uh, with that machine I got one session actually open so all the hacker has to do is actually you know in start uh, an interactive session uh, with the with the machine oops let me actually click here sessions interactive session one which is the the session that he got so we got we are in there but before I do anything in there let me take a look at what processes are running because I'm gonna hide myself I don't want to be found out uh, who I am so I'm choosing let's see what is running on this particular machine uh, well I can be Internet Explorer so if I do migrate uh, 1948 1948 now uh, if it runs the task manager I'm gonna look as a as a Internet Explorer even if he closes the browser it doesn't matter his, his, his machine is now mine now as a hacker all I need to do is install a keylogger and it, it cannot be any more easier than that I do key start uh, key uh, scan sorry underscore start and we have a key log all I need to do, wait is for Joe to visit his uh, any one of the places that I'm interested in looking at and I'm interested in the database server so when Joe on his Windows machine goes into the database server whose address if you remember from the graphic is 172.16.60.1 140 and, and uh, he logs in as a root and once inside the machine he needs to provide his password which he does let me type that password right Okay, now he's in. Now he goes into the Oracle database. Now he's there. Now he's going to log in as him. And he needs to enter his password for that. Now he's ready to do all the select and all the all the good stuff. He does backup of the database, whatever, and he's done with it. He doesn't know <laughs> that the hacker get uh, 
get to see all that so let me actually do a key scan dump and I get to see the address of the database server the password see this is when I type it wrong and this is when I typed it right the first time They're going into Oracle logging as Joe all that data is mine now that I have the credentials I can actually go into that uh, database server so let me actually do that sixteen dot sixty dot one forty. Oh I need to exit the meta interpreter. I don't need to I don't need that anymore. And of course so we see the, the hacker uh, logs in with the password that he got, he got into Oracle, logs in as Joe, and he's ready to get some data. So he's going to do select asterisk from credit card. And boom! Credit card just went up the window. What the hacker does not know is that this company has a very capable XGS IPS here that is going to be detecting the exploitation that he did from Kali to get this machine compromised on that vulnerability. We're going to see Curator more in detail now, but Curator is aware that this machine is vulnerable. So when the IPS tell it, hey, a vulnerability is being attempted to be exploited and Curator knows that that machine is vulnerable. Uh, is going to know about it. Also, this company has the Carbon Black agent installed on that machine and let's see what the Carbon Black agent can discover. And very importantly, this company doesn't send logs from database into Curator or any SIM for that matter because they know that those are useless. Those uh, database logs are talkative, expensive, and provide no context because the database doesn't know where the credit card data is stored. But Guardian scans the database and knows about it. And even though it can even block bad access in this case, we let the attack go through, otherwise we wouldn't have a demo. But um, uh, Guardian got to know about it. So what are the things that you could actually do? You can go into the XGS console and interpret this and actually that's the uh, script array overflow and uh, th this is the vulnerabilities that were actually exploited there you could go into the carbon black console and interpret you know what happened there uh, to guardian and actually take a look at uh, what is actually happening in there as well But of course, there is a better way. All those entities have been feeding information into Curator. Let's see how Curator can correlate all that data. So let's take a look at these offenses in here. And I intentionally didn't want to, you know, chain those together so we can analyze and, uh, and see them uh, separately. So the first one is destination vulnerable to a detected exploit. That's great because Curator because the scanned data from that vulnerable machine was sent to Curator from a network scanner, Curator knows that that machine is actually vulnerable and it knows that the nature of this type of attack, script, redeem, preserve, denormalize, whatever its name, corresponds to that type of vulnerability and say, hey, you know, <laughs> this one seems to be uh, being exploited. That's very, very nice. You cannot do that by just looking at the XGS, you're going to get from the XGS will detect multiple real attempts to, to attack. What you really care is well, out of those real attacks, which are against endpoints that are vulnerable. The ones that are not don't even bother me. I installed a while back this uh, Ready for IBM Security Intelligence uh, uh, offense, which also detected that, uh, that uh, one entity is talking to a bad uh, side out there. And Carbon Black sent information to Curator, just two, two events about something that 
it's a st that it found that uh, to be strange and this is pretty nice password guest retrieve let's take a look at that information from carbon black in detail so it really detected my scanner that's pretty good carbon black and let's take a look at this one this is a little bit more involved let's take a look at this part Internet Explorer or Firefox when in this case we know that it was Internet Explorer launch PowerShell nice catch carbon black that that's not supposed to be happening that's probably part of the exploit or maybe when I did the migration uh, from to, to hide myself so that information was also sent to to curator and as we click on the credit card data from Guardium the log source was in this case uh, Guardium we see this is an event that the offense actually fired uh, on triggering and this one actually detected that a policy violation has been uh, has occurred and pass the username we watch Joe now we even have a, a user ID That's, this is actually very nice all in a single place and actually the fact that you no know, notice that this is a different address 10.10.9.56 .10 and actually in providing more details these database servers and the Guardium has are connected to two for via two NICs into two different networks and all that has actually been detected so contrast having going into all these different consoles into having all this data being correlated and processed from curator and telling you hey you know this is what happened and here are all all the details about it that's a nice example of integration